What would you do if firefighters, police, the post office, even map apps couldn't find your house? It happened to a triad couple. They didn't have a street sign or a mailbox in their neighborhood, so what to do? How about calling two wants to know's Kevin Kennedy? One brick, one nail at a time. A new community being built. The first home finish belongs to Jim and Kathy Pierce. Well, we love the area. Uh, Summerfield's a very nice rural area. The home completed way back in March. Jim and Kathy moving in, not noticing a couple things were missing. We didn't even think about the address until uh, we were ordering a particular product and, uh, and we, we couldn't get it delivered. The new home on Hanyal Drive, a road that doesn't seem to exist, a street without a sign. And we've had three different packages uh, that have been either returned, delayed, uh, not issued. You can't find it on Apple Maps. It's not something you think about when buying a home. We went to Town Hall, and Town Hall said that they didn't have any record at that point of having street signs Ordered. More than a month after moving in, there were no street signs, no mailbox, and no answers from the developer. Certainly not convenient to drive four or five miles to get your mail a couple times a week. The dilemma got Kathy thinking. If delivery companies can't find the home, could police or fire? The answer, no. That was our main concern, is that we could not get a first responder here should we need one. Kathy making sure if 911 is called, emergency crews could find the home, but still they wanted answers. Why isn't there a street sign? We investigated, the developer admitting it made a mistake. The check that was provided was given to the town of Oak Ridge versus the town of Summerfield. It took another month to finally sort out. Kathy sending us these pictures in early August. Street signs up, but still no mailbox. I feel like we bought a new car but it didn't come with wheels. The initial plan was to have mailboxes in front of every house, but when the postmaster didn't approve, it caused delays. A new site plan with a community mailbox had to be submitted and approved. It truly seems as though each person has had some ownership, but largely it's finger pointing. We reached out to the city and the developer. It took longer than we hoped, but look at this. Four months after moving in, the mailbox is installed. Enormous, but a simple thank you for being able to help us get this corrected. Jim and Kathy can now simply relax and enjoy the new home, not having to worry if the world can't find them. Kevin Kennedy, two wants to know.